you know, scrape off some paint. Um, you know, it just, it, they, they work really good. But yeah, I, I have to scrape. I got to scrape all this off and uh, make sure that this sits, you know, metal to metal. And um, you want to do that because it, it is a machine surface and it'll make sure that it'll mate. But, you know, there's also, it allows for heat transfer too. So, you know, maybe you guys didn't think about that or whatever, but it's another thing to think of when, um, when you got these mating surfaces like this. You know, it's got to dissipate heat somehow. It's got to be able to, to get rid of that. And the only way to do that is surface area. And so that's why I'm I'm scraping this and making sure that it's it's clean before I put it back together. And um, so long story short on this um, this clutch right here, it's been replaced. It, it this is actually a new bearing. Uh, it's been replaced from the guy that you know I bought it from. And um, let me. It's got a new pilot bushing, new throttle bearing. Here's a clutch disc out of it. It's a new Holland part. It, it's good, but uh, what happens to these is these pressure plates, you know, they they make these pressure plates and they, they peen the nuts over. And what happens is that you know it just it loses the nut fall the the paw far falls down and you know you end up creating hot spots on the pressure plate so this new one I got online and make sure you order the right one for these 4600s or any any Ford tractor look at the spacing here some of them have spacing like like this Okay, and they don't have the dolls. This one has the dolls. This is a diesel. I don't know if it's different for gas, but this is the diesel. It's a two-on-one diesel engine, Ford. And um, so, anyways, to remedy to remedy that those nuts falling off or backing out, I um, put a couple of tacks on them. They don't have to be spectacular. Just enough to hold that nut in place. Okay, and um, I'll go over it with uh, with a little whiz wheel, just to kind of take the sharp edges off. And this it will be cleaned up. Usually, you don't want that much, but I just put that on there, and then I'll clean it up with a towel and just put a light film of that copper. Uh, what is this stuff? This copper's anisees. So yeah, and that'll make sure that uh, that disc slides good the uh the pto slides good on here it doesn't bind up and if you're getting if you're experiencing and so with cars too if you get like a hard one to two shift or three to four um usually it's hard in general going between gears that disc is actually binding on that the input shaft of the the transmission and that, that's why i put that anesthes on here and again, this is, you don't want this much. I'll, I'll end up wiping most of this off just so there's like a, just a haze of it on there. But I just do that just to get it on there. And uh, I'll go over with a towel and I'll clean out that, that housing right there. But yeah, uh, hopefully I get this engine in today and clear up some space in this, in the shop and uh, go from there get some of these projects done all right guys later